I wanted to start recording my gig work days. A couple of you have mentioned that you'd be interested in seeing that. I wanna go ahead and share that with you. I use several of the apps. I do DoorDash, Instacart, Amazon Flex, Instawork, Upshift, Shipped. And typically I turn on all the apps and just see which one is giving me the best offers for that day. And then that's the one I'll stick to. Sometimes I'll go in between throughout the day. Still no orders. So as you all could see, I had a few issues with the apps today, but I didn't end up getting any orders. I got a few DoorDash orders, but I declined them and I will show you why. It's just what they were offering to pay for the miles I would have to drive just did not make sense. When I first started DoorDashing, I had a rule that the pay had to be two times the amount of the miles for me to do it and i used to be able to get orders like that but now because there's so many door dashers that, that company just does not pay well in my opinion and you have to take so many and they have this thing called priority pay but you have to take so many crappy orders just to maybe get priority pay and i've seen people on youtube who take all the crappy orders so that they can become priority drivers and still they don't always get it like it's still a gamble you still are not guaranteed to get a lot of high paying orders. And as you all saw, Instacart gave me issues. My account is being reviewed. DoorDash gave me issues as well, but they reviewed my account pretty quickly and reactivated it. Shipped completely deactivated me. And honestly, I don't care for Shipped anyways. The few orders I took from Shipped were crap. The pay was crap. I made $7 one time, but so many people love Shipped. I don't get it. I'm done with Shipped. But my DoorDash account was reactivated. Hopefully within the next day or two, my Instacart account will be reactivated and Amazon Flex did not deactivate me. And that's something that I think we should know. If we don't work on these apps for a while, they will deactivate our account without letting us know. Amazon Flex, Instacart, oh, and Instawork and Upshift. Those are my top four apps. I really, Uber and DoorDash, I barely do those two anymore, honestly. Amazon Flex and Instacart, for me, you just make a little bit more money for the amount of miles you have to drive. And then with Instawork and Upshift, those are the best. It's just that I don't always like being around people, as some of you know, you know this about me. And Instawork and Upshift are like jobs. You know, you go to an actual job and you work an actual shift. And you have to be around people and you have a manager telling you where to take your break and all that stuff. And I don't like dealing with that. <laughs> But last year I made a lot of money from Upshift. I even became a favorited Upshifter, like a company favorited me. 
and whenever they would put up a shift it would say like 20 or 30 people pending and then when i would apply i would always immediately get accepted because i was one of their favorites so i'll i'll definitely do an upshift shift or an insta work shift they're just the best bang for your money because you don't have to drive so many miles you know exactly what you're going to make for the shift and it's just wonderful it's less wear and tear on your car there's one company that i worked with on upshift i would park right in front of the job whenever i had a shift i would do back-to-back -back shifts i would park right in front of the business <laughs> on the street and i wouldn't even have to drive anywhere for days for days i wouldn't even drive my car anywhere but within those days i'm making a few hundred dollars and i didn't even have to use gas so upshift and instawork top two bang for your buck type of gig apps but if you don't feel like being around people and being told what to do and things like that like i did have some I did have some weird experiences at one of my jobs. Um, some people were gossiping about me and they called me a witch because I'm Muslim. And this was a few months ago, last year when all of this happened. I would go to this job and everyone smiles in your face and everything, but unhappy people just like to start drama. And I guess they didn't have anything better to do with themselves. So they just started gossiping about me, saying that I'm a witch, saying that I put spells on people and things like that. And the only reason I found out was because one of the guys was actually intelligent enough to ask me. He didn't just go along with the rumors. He came up to me one day and he was like, so I heard you're, um, you're, um, and then two of the people that I worked the closest with, they were like, she's Muslim. And he was like, yeah, yeah, you're Muslim, but you're something else. Like you're, a, um, you're a witch, right? And then me and the two other people I had worked the closest with, we were like, what? And, and they defended me immediately. And one of the people defending me was a young kid. He was like 19 years old, but he was cool. And he and I worked together a lot and we got along and he stood up for me. He was like, what are you talking about? She's Muslim, she's not a witch. And he was like, yeah, but don't you guys put spells on people and do this and that? And I was like, where did you get that information from? No. And he was like, well, that's what everybody back there is saying. And he put into the back kitchen. We were all, they were talking about you and they said that you're a witch and you do this and you do that. And um, and that that caught me off guard. So with Upshift and Instawork, just know that you're gonna be in a regular, normal American work environment. And those types of workplaces, there's a lot of gossip, a lot of drama. People are just bored and they're gonna start rumors. That, that's what I've learned from working jobs. I don't know if I've ever worked anywhere where someone didn't just make up drama about someone because they were pissed off. Maybe they did one little thing they didn't like, so they started rumors about them crazy but even after I found out that people at that job were talking about me and making up lies about me I did not stop working there I was like I'm not gonna let these fools mess up my money because I make good money at this place I don't have to use up gas like I got a bunch of shifts I already signed up for so I was just like whatever I explained to the guy that it's not true I explained to him that I'm just a regular person who believes in God and I like to cover my body and I don't do spells or any of that. You know, I just basically explained to him what a Muslim is and he was like, oh, okay, cool. Thanks for letting me know. And I went back to every shift. People who were talking trash about me, I walked up to them, I worked with them. I didn't even care. I didn't start any drama. Like I just didn't even care. Something that I've learned throughout life and have really been holding on to recently is that people only matter if you allow them to matter. <laughs> no one matters to me if I don't think they matter. That might sound rude, but it's the truth. I don't matter to you if you don't think I matter to you. You know what I'm saying? And I continued taking shifts all the way up until I went to the beet harvest in September. So anyways, my point is insta work and upshift are great bangs for your buck when it comes to gig work but the main con that i have found is that you have to work with people which i don't typically like and that working with people means you might have to start experiencing workplace drama amazon flex and instacart are great because from my experience you don't drive as many miles as doordash and uber but you make good money especially from the tips i get i get really good tips from those apps especially amazon flex and the main con is that you drive a little bit more than you do with insta work and upshift but the main pro is that you don't have to be around people <laughs> so right now in this current moment in my life i'm not really in the mood to be around a lot of people in that type of work environment so i'm really just going to stick to instacart and amazon flex for now because i just get to work by myself i don't have to talk to people and i like that
after everything I said yesterday about me not doing any upshift or insta work shifts because I don't feel like being around people, I just signed up for one. It's for next Saturday. It's not this weekend, so it won't be included in this video. I'll do another video on what it's like to do an upshift shift. I decided to sign up for it because I can tell the apps are slow. Just all of the apps I have are very slow right now. So I wanted to go ahead and sign up for a shift to make sure I'm gonna make some money. The place that I signed up for next weekend is the place that I was telling you about where they had where they were gossiping and starting rumors and everything. It's that place. Anyways, we'll see. This is turning out to be a boring gig work video. I apologize, but I want to be real. I want to keep it real about this lifestyle. Before you quit your full-time job or your part-time job and decide you want to be a gig worker full-time, watch this video. <laughs> because this is it. This is gig work. I'm sitting around waiting for a good order. my own town. As you can see, I still have to sign in. If you're logged in with your own credentials, got the food. It is the third day of doing gig work this week. It's Friday. My Instacart account has been restored and I've had it on since around 6.30 this morning. It's, am I phone calling? Let's see what these apps are talking about. I just accepted an order, an Amazon Flex order. Amazon Flex is my number one favorite delivery app and Instacart is definitely number two. It's estimated that I will drive 27 and a half miles but also it estimates that I'm going to make up to $72 for that. And from my experience, I always make more than their estimate. So we'll see if that's still the case, because like I said, I've been out of the game for a while. But typically, if they say I can make up to $72, I'll make like 80, 90, sometimes even $100 for that. It's 27 bag, 27 packages, which means 27 grocery bags, um, eight different customers in this order. So I'm going to be making eight stops, totaling to 27 and a half miles. I have to use my phone in order to do this, so I don't know how much I'll be able to record, but we'll see because I need my phone to scan the bags and everything, but we'll see. I, I will try to show you as much as I can.
I just delivered my first order and now I'm trying to go back here and make sure my next delivery is right next to the door so I don't have to dig through all of these bags. <laughs> and this is my next order for the next house. So I have it right here at the door. So from looking at the app, I know that this is my next delivery, the order that says mind. They have three bags, so I'm gonna make sure that that's their three orders and I'm ready. about delivering making deliveries is sometimes you have to deliver to trash people we stand with if I had to deliver something to that person's house I would just put it at the top of their driveway I wouldn't even go to their door <laughs> I just finished that Amazon flex order it took me two hours to do which isn't bad for the amount of stops that I had and a total of 38 miles driven, 27 miles to do the deliveries and 11 miles to go back to the area where I like to pick up orders. With Amazon Flex, you don't know exactly what you made until 24 hours after the delivery has been completed. So tomorrow when I find out, I will let you all know. I'll take a screenshot and put it in the video so you all can see if you think it was worth it, working two hours and driving 38 miles. For me, 38 miles, especially if I make, especially if I make the minimum of what I think I'm going to make, driving 38 miles is fine. Because let's keep it real: work commutes in America are long for a good amount of people. So for me to have to drive 38 miles total, that's like me driving to work and then coming back home. Because I'm driving back to the area that I stay in. So to me, it's not too bad. I just got an Instacart order. It's a $10 order, but it's only three miles to drive, three miles total. But I wanna show you all how Instacart works if you have never seen an Instacart video before. Uh, it's been so long since I've done Instacart. I don't need anything. Oh, I need my, with Instacart, you need a, do you need a debit card? I don't remember. <laughs> I think with Instacart, you need a debit card. I do not remember. <laughs> this is what happens when you sign up for so many apps. I have a shipped card. This was my shipped debit card. This is my DoorDash debit card. <laughs> uh -huh. And this is my Instacart debit card. Okay. I put it on this so I don't lose it because I've lost my I've lost my Instacart card once before. Don't want to do that again. All right, let's go.
I don't know if you saw in the screen recording on the bottom, they give you a time. You don't have to stick to that time. It's just the time frame they would like for you to shop within. But once you get used to shopping and everything, you can shop so fast, especially when you have your handful of stories that you stick to. You just start to learn where everything is. You can do it so fast. I definitely could have done that whole thing in five to eight minutes. I have to carry a case of water to the fifth floor. Luckily there's an elevator, but I don't have my dolly, so this is gonna be fun. Please take my advice if you're gonna do this type of gig work full time. Get a dolly. Oh, but this is gonna be my workout for the day. This is my exercise. I'm not going to the gym today. I'm gonna to carry this case to this person's, I'm gonna carry this case of water to this person's apartment. I did it. <laughs> that case of water was so heavy. I struggled. Upshift just added another shift for tomorrow morning at the business that I like to take a lot of shifts at. I don't know if I want to do it because I signed up for next Saturday, but I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I'll let you guys know. I might do an upshift shift tomorrow in addition to the one that I signed up for next Saturday. So we'll see. But this is the life of a gig worker. This is it. Just turning on all the apps, see what's coming, trying to get the best bang for your buck so you're not driving all over the city for $5, taking a 33 mile trip for $28. That's crazy, but somebody took that order. I guarantee you, somebody took that order. A gig work is just a lot of decision making, trying not to get screwed over for your time and your effort. I feel like this video is going to be pretty long, so I think this is going to be it. I really, really hope you found this video helpful, and I will do more videos like this whenever I do gig work. I'll try to remember to record it so you guys can just ride along with me and see what my day is like doing gig work. And so, yeah, I appreciate you all. Thank you for the support, and I will see you later. You know, I think I mentioned earlier in the video that I saw another shift open up for tomorrow for the company that I usually work shifts for, but I didn't want to take it. I didn't accept it. And I knew as soon as I saw the shift, I knew they did it for me because I've already signed up for a shift for next Saturday. After I signed up for that shift, all of a sudden another shift pops up for this Saturday, which is tomorrow. I knew as soon as I saw that shift, I knew they did it for me. I knew that they saw that I signed up so that I guess they figured I was back in town or whatever. And they put that shift for me, but I didn't want to take it. So I didn't take it. And they already have like eight people pending, eight people who signed up for that shift and wanted it. So when they saw that I didn't sign up for it, they removed the shift from the app. And then they had the app text me and personally invite me to work the shift tomorrow. And that's the second time they have personally invited me to work the shift at their business. And I wasn't surprised. I knew that they liked me at that business. And this is the business where the people started the rumor about me being a witch. So I wanna keep up a good rapport with this company because I do need to do gig work. I wanna do at least like one or two shifts a week so I can save money and hopefully this summer I can travel west. We'll see. So I'm driving over there now. I have a parking spot that I always park at when I work there. It's right across the street and it's street parking. That's something to note with um, Upshift and Instawork that if you do a good job and people like you, you can easily get jobs. Like you will continuously be chosen to work. Sometimes that won't work in your favor because maybe you're on those apps and you're not getting chosen and it might be because people and it might be because companies already have their favorites. I'm a favorite for this company and other companies have their favorites. So they might be choosing the same people over and over and over. So new people don't get a lot of chances. I don't know. But I do know from experience that with Instawork and Upshift, if the people like you, 
you'll be able to get shipped so easily and that's what happened with me so I'm just gonna try to stay in good standing with this company since I need to do several shifts with them until the summertime and I'm gonna go ahead and accept this shift that I don't want to do I'm very tired but I also feel so ready to grind like I haven't grinded in a while before I really needed these last several months to just be able to be free and <laughs> camp and travel and relax and I feel so well rested even though I'm extremely tired right now but I just overall I feel well rested I feel rejuvenated I'm tired but I'm ready I'm so ready to grind I see myself in my future like I see my future life and I see me in it work hard now so that I can chill in a few years buy some land and just relax on my homestead well of course it's gonna be a lot of work to build a homestead but you know the goal the goal is a simple life the simple life is the goal I feel excited for the future I feel the most optimistic I've felt in so long all of this work I'm about to put in excites me because I know it's going to lead to a nice life of peace and ease so I'm really happy to share with you my life as a gig worker and bring you all along on this journey with me of achieving my goals and I hope this motivates you all to grind and achieve your goals or whatever stage you're in maybe you're not in this grinding stage right now maybe you're still need to hibernate because life is exhausting <laughs> whatever stage you're in you're not alone we're all on this earth working towards peace of mind whatever that means for each of us and yeah we're gonna do it together so I'm about to take my sleepy exhausted butt over here park make my bed get ready for bed because now I got to get up early in the morning and go to this job but that's just more money in the bank for